Good morning, students. So as we know that our chapter lines and angles, that is chapter six of NCERT, is going on. And so far, we have discussed about the basic concept that is related to lines and angles. That is, what do you mean by the term point, then line, then line segment, and ray? Then we have learned the how angles are formed and what are the different types of angles that we have to study in this chapter, and different types of angles like. Uh, linear pair angles in a straight line exterior angle interior angle alternate angles and in alternate we have uh, discussed about the two categories that is alternate interior angles alternate exterior angles then the corresponding angles and vertically opposite angles so now we will start discussing about these angles in the previous video we have discussed about the exterior angle as well as the interior angle so now exterior angle exterior angle or the angle you can say that is outside the outer angles that is outer angles clearly visible away outside of the lines that is line segments are 1 2 7 and 8 1 2 7 and 8 these are the exterior angles now interior angle interior angles means the angles which are inside or the interior of the line segment that is clearly visible 3 4 5 and 6 3 4 5 6 these are the interior angles then alternate exterior angle and alternate interior angle alternate means you have to see like this alternate means one after the another the, that's the meaning of alternate but in this line you have to see the crossing the crossing should be there and the crossing means like this this is the line so one angle should be this and another angle should be this so alternate pair of angles will be here alternate exterior alternate exterior angles means the angle should be from the exterior so here it is 2 and alternate to to alternate exterior to 2 is 8 so 2 and 8 is the first pair Then similarly, alternate exterior angle is one and seven. One and seven is the second case. Two and eight, one and seven is the second case. Similarly, the alternate interior angles that is inside the, or you can say the interior of the line segments, and that are also the crossing. We have to see the crosses. Here it is four and five and three and six. This is the line segment, so we have to see the angles from the both sides. Which is alternate to each other. So angle three is alternate to angle six, and that is alternate interior angles. So three and six, and next pair is four and five. Next pair is four and five. So this is the concept of exterior angle, interior angle, alternate interior angle, and alternate exterior angle. Now vertically opposite angles that should that be abbreviated as VOA. Vertically opposite angles means one is vertically opposite to four, two is three. One, four, two, three, five, seven, and similarly six, eight. These are the four pair of angle that is vertically opposite to each other. Then corresponding angles, corresponding angles, corresponding angles means this angle two is corresponding to angle six, two and six. Similarly, four and seven. Now see that side. One is corresponding to five, and three is corresponding to eight. These are the corresponding angles, and the condition we have to see here that the line segment L should be parallel to M. L should be parallel to M. This is the condition. जो हमारी line segment है वो L हमारी parallel in shape इसके M. So these are the following. pair of the angles that we have discussed exterior angle interior angle alternate exterior alternate interior vertically opposite angles and the corresponding pair of angles now let's start the next topic that is what do you mean by the linear pair and how we will use those in the questions the concept of linear pair linear देखिए भाई लीनियर पेयर 
if this is this is a line segment given to you and suppose this is the point o as we know that what is the sum of the angle on a straight line it is always 180 degree so the sum is always 180 degree and if i pass a ray that is oa and this is a dash b dash is the line segment and if i pass a ray that is oa from point o so you can see that it intersected the whole angle in two parts this is the first part and this is the second part so let's say this is angle one or you can easily say by naming so angle b dash o a that is this angle plus angle a dash o a a dash o a the sum will always be equal to 180 degree what is it means that a straight line to hamesha hamara sum 180 degree hota hai jab ek ray ne usko intersect kiya ek angle ko to do do angle bach gaye hamare to it will make the whole angle will be converted into the two angles and the sum of these two angles will be 180 degree and the reason is linear pair and the reason is linear pair to bachcho uska kya reason hua hamara linear pair reason hua main aapse ek example leta hu isi cheez pe question puchta hu if this angle is 60 degree can you find this angle Yes, you can find this angle because as you know that 60 degree plus angle A dash O A will be equal to 180 degree that is linear pair. So angle A dash O A will be equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree. So that is 120 degree. So 120 degree is the answer. So this is the concept of linear pair. Let's see one more concept. Now, this is, this is OA, OB, this is D, or you can say CD. CD is a line segment, O is a point on it, and then we can say we have two rays, that is OA and OB are the two rays, that divides the whole angle now in one, two, and three part. What we have discussed in the linear pair, that a ray divides the angle, the angle that we make by two equal parts, and here two rays are there, so it is dividing the whole angle into three equal parts, Let's suppose this is angle 1, this is angle 2 and this is angle 3. So sum will be angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degree again as we know that straight line pe koi bhi ek hamara angle hota, uska sum 180 degree hota hai. The reason is linear pair, linear pair bhi iska reason ho sakta hai lekin linear pair se better agar aapko likhna chahiye kyunki linear pair hum generally do angles we consider karte hai, when two angles are there but here more than two angles are there means three angles are there four bhi ho sakte hai, five bhi ho sakte hai to hum usse better ek reason likhe jab bhi hamare paas do angles given honge we will always write the reason as linear pair but when we will have the more than two means three and onwards number of the angles on a straight line so what the reason we will write the sum of all angles on a straight line is 180 degree as we know that the sum of all angles on a straight line is 180 degree so we will write this reason as well and generally we can uh, use the concept as linear pair but this is the valid reason here the sum of all the angles all the angles mean it could be three four five so sum of all the angles on a straight line is always 180 degree now let's see if angle one is given 40 degree angle two is given 70 degree can you find angle three now put the values angle 1 is 40 degree, angle 2 is 70 degree and angle 3 we have to find out and the sum is 180 degree. Now 70 degree plus 40 degree that is 110 degree plus angle 3 that is 180 degree. So angle 3 will be 180 degree minus 110 degree. So angle 3 comes out to be again that is 70 degree. So angle 3 comes out to be 70 degree. So this is the concept of the straight line. The angles, the sum of the angles should always be 180 degree and we have also considered the concept of linear pair. So in lines and angles so far we have just done the introductory part that we have discussed about what do you mean by point, line, line segment, ray, how angles are formed, then the different types of angles and how to represent the angles in the form of linear pair or in the straight line. 
so you have to remember all these key points because these all points will be used in the in the coming questions that we will do of the exercise 6.1 in the next video so till then you have to revise these basic concept and be ready for the test that is Wednesday test I will let you know the topic soon so practice the concept and be ready for the test thank you